all we can do is this, and that's exactly what Sue L. Robinson had to do. We could say two grand juries refused to indict. We could say that 23 of the 24 civil cases have been settled, and we could say that she got an opportunity to get her evidence from four people, which I think is, when you look at the totality of the civil lawsuits, I, I would think it would be more to have as much of a, uh, as, as much of a di diverse opportunity or much, of, much information as you could possibly get. Six games is the final decision. Six games is what we are dealing with. 24 people said Deshaun Watson wronged them. Deshaun Watson has said from the beginning that he is innocent. If anybody else, like Stephen A. says, if they, if they want to give us more information so we can speak about this differently, give me more information. If the NFL mm. want to show us what they got, they made that, uh, that Sue L. Robinson decided that it's only going to be six games or it's going to be six games, then give us that. Right now, all we know is what we know. And I don't think in a situation this sensitive, it is responsible of us to put ourselves in those positions and judge these humans, whether it be the women or Deshaun Watson. But, but, but like Lewis and Shefty actually said earlier, this is a new precedent set. Sue L. Robinson is used to dealing with criminal cases, giving people years. Now she's giving people games? How does she know that, that, that differential between years in prison and games on the football field because that's why people don't trust Roger Goodell in the NFL system, so now they bring her in. And I love it. I love the independent arbitrators, but how does she know what's going that? And, you know, Freddie, and I'm actually with Freddie with time served in that year, but he got paid, like Lewis said. So where is it? Is it in the pockets? Is it him, his, 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 him not competing? Like, is that, like you're saying, people are going to look at it and say, oh, he didn't play for a year. Who everybody would love to sit to, to not go to work and get paid for a year. Like, if you ask a normal person, and that's the thing. But I'm going to tell y'all, I played for six years in the NFL. I had four masseuses in six years. I still use one of my masseuses to this day, and I've been retired 11 years. Man, I had 20-plus. Something different was going on, but it's a different culture in the NFL. We know how things happen. Lewis knows how things happen. All these guys, like, we're around it, and we know that that's not normal. Does Sue L. Robinson understand that? Does the outside world understand that? And that's what I just want to get out there, that there, it, it's a different situation that's going on. And something was, like I said, I keep calling it weird, but it was some weird stuff going on. And I don't know what they're going to do, and I don't know what they're going to say. That is not normal. What he was doing is not normal. And I just read something. It said nonviolent sexual misconduct, but it's still sexual misconduct if it's nonviolent. You know, I think we're all straddling. I mean, the court of public opi uh, opinion, what, what, where are we going with this? You know, the, the kid was punished. I think he was punished. I think he was punished fairly. And um, we're going to always have an opinion. There's going to be p opinions for as long as he's in the NFL. When he's outside walking around just, you know, handling his business on the daily, there's going to be a pain, whoever path he crosses. And I think uh, that's unfair, you know. Um, but you, you, when you're here in this position as media, you, that's your job. Your job is to talk on it. And uh, no matter what happened behind those doors, you know, the women, they know what happened. Deshaun knows what happened. We weren't there. As R.C. said, we weren't there. We can sit here all day until we're blue in the face, but it's not going to change anything. You know, those women, they're going to get on with their lives. They settled, and so will Deshaun. But this is just going to be good conversation for everyone that's involved with sports or a fan or maybe not a fan of Deshaun. So I think for now, we, we, we respect the judge's decision, as I said before, and we um, just see what happens going forward. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.